For today's little adventure, we're gonna DIY Danny's scarf from Hocus Pocus. These are the supplies that I used to make Danny's scarf. A strip of fleece, scissors, a needle, orange, red, and yellow yarn, and a plastic folder that I had laying around. You could use cardboard or paper folder, it doesn't really make a difference. The first thing I did was I wrapped the yarn around the folder, and then I took the end, cut one side of it, and then I cut the other side of it. And this is now the link I'm using for my fringe for the scarf. I did that for the yellow and the red as well. And now I'm gonna show you how I made my fringe. There are two ways that you could do the fringe. You could do a thick fringe, which just means leave the yarn the way it is, fold it over, use your needle and put it through the fleece. Or you can do what I did, which is separate the yarn into four separate pieces, put individual pieces of the three colors together, fold it over, and put that in the fleece. Now I'm going to show you how I separated it because it can be a tedious thing to do. It took me half the day to separate all my yarn. But the difference with it is that I like the idea of having thinner yarn instead of having tons of yarn. So what I did to start is I would just pull apart and Sometimes this worked great, sometimes it didn't. Just pull it apart like that. And then just pull the other two strands apart. Now this is very time consuming and sometimes what happens if you pull too hard, well this one's a nice piece of yarn actually, but if you pull too hard, you can pull it apart like that and so you end up with shorter pieces. So I had a few, the orange colors seem to do that a lot, um, but the yellow and red for the most part were pretty good. So I will show you how I can, how I made my fringe on the scarf. So I have my fleece, I have my three strands together that I separated. And so I'm gonna kind of punch them together and then I'm gonna push them through the needle like that. Not go too far in, cause I need that little loop. And then I'm just gonna go wherever I wanna start on the fleece. And it takes a second to push it through, it's a little tough. Now you're only pulling enough to get this little loop out. Then you pull the needle off, open this up, pull the other string through, and there's a piece of fringe there. I'm gonna do that one more time for you. So I take my, my three strands of yarn, I fold them over, get the loop at the top, put that through my needle. Sometimes you gotta kinda get up close and there you go, see if you can see it better. Oops, I dropped it. Okay. Put it through, yeah, it's, it's easier when it's closer to my face, but it's a little bit harder. So you see where I push it through, got a little bit there. Just go over about half an inch. I just eyeballed it all. Push it through really hard. And then pull that through. And then you just do it like that. And you just do that along the whole length. And then you also do it on the edge of it. And after that, you will be done with your After you get all the fringe done, this will be your final result. So as you can see, it's got the black fleece strip in the middle and it's got all the fringe on the end, just like Danny's scarf from the movie. If you liked today's little adventure of making Danny's scarf from Hocus Pocus, please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share if you wanna show your friends. And if you have a comment, please leave one. I love hearing from people. I look forward to seeing you next time on our today's little adventure.